Ranking every M4A4 skin in CSGO. After my AK-47 and M4A1S ranking, the logical next step is moving on to the M4A4 and I'm sure that I'll once again make some of you mad, but don't worry guys, the comment section is opened up for you. Now I split the M4A4 skins into different tiers and I'm going to speedrun the lower tiers so you don't get bored and let's not waste too much time and get right into it. Now the official award for the worst M4A4 skin in CSGO goes to the M4A4 Tornado. Yeah, kinda obvious, it's just nothing special at all and there's nothing more to say. So let's move on to the so called trash tier. Starting off we got the M4A4 Jungle Tiger, it's pretty ugly and the colors look super washed. Next up the M4A4 Modern Hunter, what a mess and also washed AF, like who wants this? Number 36 goes to the Faded Zebra, this skin is super boring and for what it is it's rather expensive but I don't count the price in my rankings. So it doesn't matter. Moving on, we got the Desert Storm. This one is a more realistic skin, but still not good, so deserve trash skin. And the same applies to the Urban DD pad. The only way I'm playing this is as a souvenir with OG stickers. The M4A4 Global Offensive might be controversial because I get the idea, but the execution is bad and I don't think it even deserves this name. 32nd place goes to the Zerka. Yes, it has a star, but this yellow greenish style doesn't look good in my opinion. It's getting better because because now we got the main frame, it's trash but close to alright but still trash sadly. And same applies to the M4A4 converter, this one has some red on it at least but still not too good. Now moving from trash tier to decent tier, starting off we got the Royal Paladin, the skin itself is decent but the reason why it's so low is the fact that you're just getting mad when you get this skin from the revolver case because we all know you only unbox it for the OG knives. Next up we got the M4A4 Tooth Fairy, bro I hate this skin, I only put it in decent because I'ma get dislikes only if it would be in trash tier and I also hate the deserted space which is next, bro back then this was maybe alright but nowadays no way. I'm in rage mode now, but I can calm down because next up we got the Hellfire. I don't like this one either. It's not good. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Alright, the Dark Blossom is next and it's super underrated in my opinion. I mean, it's not great, but it has a vibe, I'ma be honest. Number 24 goes to the, the Battle Star. It's alright, it's decent, kinda cool, but not too good. Huh? Moving on we got the Griffin, I think the artwork is alright and USA, USA, USA. I love the AK-47 X-Ray but the M4 X-Ray doesn't get better than the decent tier and I think it's because of the color. And the Desert Strike is next because it might look okay but it's only a replacement which compared to what was supposed to be in that Huntsman case is more than disappointing. Last decent skin is the M4A4 Magnesium, I love the concept, it's just lacking effort and style but as a budget M4 this one is good. It's getting spicy now because now we'll move on to the so called OK tier and the start makes the M4A4 Radiation Hazard, that's a cool OG skin and if it would be affordable I would grab one honestly. Number 18 goes to the Polymag, it's rather new and only a blue skin but I love the transparent style and it looks OK, so why not? And also the perfect skin to land right in the middle. By the way only 4.7% of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel and it would help me out a lot if you press that button, I see all of you guys, USA, Germany, Poland. UK, Romania, Canada, Turkey, Australia, Sweden, yeah. Thanks. Now the M4A4 Poseidon is next because it's slightly above average in my opinion but nothing close to what people are making out of it, sorry. Moving on we got the M4A4 Red DD pad which is a super underappreciated and underrated skin because I honestly think it looks super cool in game and no one plays this. Oh my god he put a DD pad skin over the Poseidon, yes and I'm proud of that. Next up we got the Neo Noir, I think the Neo Noir skins are cool but let's not make more of them as they are because if you're horny there's a way better alternative nowadays. 14th place goes to the bus kill and this one gives me fuel injector vibes. If it only had the name and the artwork of the fuel injector this would be higher on the list. The M4A4 Dragon King is next and yeah it hurts a bit but don't forget that place 13 is still good. Pretty cool and also underappreciated is the cyber security and I think it's a pretty cool futuristic M4. Actually pretty nice now that I see it again. 
And the next one is the M4A4 in living color. At first I hated this skin, but on second thought I kind of like it. But it's too messy to be in the top 10. Speaking of that, we'll move on to the top 10. Number 10 goes to the M4A4 Daybreak. I love pattern based skins, I love OG skins and this one as a member of the Rising Sun collection fits right into my taste. And number 9 goes to the Bullet Rain. This one also has super OG vibes and I never saw anyone play this in the last 7 years even though it's pretty cool. Moving on we got the M4A4 The Emperor. I had to put this high on the list because the skin is super nice even though I'm a bit skeptical about these type of skins. And next up we got the Evil Daimyo. I think this is the M4A4 to go if you don't want to spend too much money but still like to own a nice skin. Super clean and super nice. Number 6 goes to the Temukao. Great artwork, great colors, I love it. N not, not like this, uh, kind of like this, I, I, I mean the top 5, starting off we got the M4A for Asimov, I love Asimov skins, just not the AK, and since this isn't an AK, I love it. And also great OG vibes, back then I dreamed of owning one at some point. Next up is the M4A for The Coalition, this one is so underrated guys, why is no one talking about this? And in field tested or minimal wear it's even affordable, how can you not like this? It's so clean and nice, changed my mind. Third place, brand new, the Eye of Horus. Why does nobody realize that this skin will become legendary at some point? I'm pretty sure that at some point the Anubis packages will be gone, so this will stay rare, don't worry guys, and it also looks super good by the way. Number 2 will surprise you because we got the M4A4 Spider Lily on there. I think this skin is so so underrated and so so good. Bro, this is crazy good, don't you agree? Please tell me I'm not alone because I'm getting anxious about this opinion right now it's 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 great and the almighty winner of this yes I know this is obvious but there's no way in the world that there will ever be any other skin on the number one when it comes to M4A4 skins it's clearly the M4A4 howl if you don't know about the skin you're either new to CS or completely lost but I'm actually thinking about making a detailed video about this story would you be interested in something like this and also tell me your top 5 M4A4 skins in the comments and if you're enjoyed watching subscribe and like for more news and interesting stuff about counter-strike see ya